and the ones that existed had clear stipulations in their state issued charters how long they could operate the amount of capitalization uh, what they made or did or maintained a turnpike or whatever was in their charter and they didn't do anything else they didn't own or couldn't own another corporation uh, their shareholders were liable and so on in both the law and the culture the corporation was considered a subordinate entity that was a gift from the people in order to serve the public good so you have that history and we shouldn't be misled by it it's not as if those were the halcyon days when all corporations served the public trust but there's a lot to learn from that the civil war and the Industrial Revolution created enormous growth in corporations. And so there was an explosion of railroads who got large federal subsidies of land, banking, heavy manufacturing, and corporate lawyers a century and a half ago realized they needed more power to operate and wanted to remove some of the constraints that had historically been placed on the corporate form. The 14th Amendment was passed at the end of the Civil War to give equal rights to black people. And therefore, it, it said, no state can deprive any person of life, liberty, or property without due process of law. And that was intended to prevent the states from taking away life, liberty, or property from black people, as they had done uh, for so much of our history. And what happens is the corporations come into court, and corporation lawyers are very clever, and they say, oh, you can't deprive a person of life, liberty, or property. We are a person. A corporation is a person. And the Supreme Court goes along with that. And what was particularly grotesque about this was that the 14th Amendment was passed to protect newly freed slaves. So, for instance, between uh, 1890 and 1910, there were 307 cases brought before the court under the 14th Amendment. 288 of these brought by corporations, 19 by African Americans. Six hundred thousand people were killed to get rights for people. And then, with strokes of the pen over the next 30 years, judges applied those rights to capital and property while stripping them from people. <laughs>